Hello there. Good afternoon, sir. I've been looking all over for you. Dr. Borden was very helpful. Oh, uh, thank you, Doctor. Not at all. Thank you, ma'am. Yeah. I saw you looking at my car. Naturally, I'm curious. That was because of the tires, sir. We found a muddy tire track last night out at Mrs. Donner's beach house. You can see the tread design. It's very distinctive. Oh, yeah. Isn't that the, uh... Isn't that the 50,000 mile XKL? That's, uh... That's pretty standard equipment on, I'll say, a half dozen imported luxury models. Like my own. Yes, sir, I knew that. I use those tires myself. Oh, you have an imported car? Yes, sir, French. Of course, my tires, don't let this get around, they're a little bold. So I wanted to get a good look at that tread design. It's not as though I thought your car was out there last night. I know Dr. Borden drove you there. You know, Lieutenant, you're a marvelously deceptive man. You know the way you get to the point without really ever getting to the point. I really think you believe there's something cockeyed about Carl Donner's death. Uh, can we talk off the record, sir? Please. Mrs. Donner's a lovely lady. But I'm having difficulties with her story. Oh? She is either holding something back or she is deliberately lying. I believe that she knew who those men were. Maybe she even hired them. Is that speculation, Lieutenant? No, sir, that is her story. I can't buy it. There's that business about the gun in the fireplace poker. Explain that. There is something else. She said that she and her husband were listening to music and two men came to the door and broke their way in. That doesn't make any sense. No sense at all. Because of the headlights. What are you talking about, Lieutenant? Husband is sitting here. This is the stereo. That's the east window. She's sitting here. She has a martini to talk. If a car comes down that driveway, the headlights glare through the window. You cannot miss those headlights. What's the point? She said she heard a man's voice claim that he had car trouble on the highway. Then after her husband was murdered and the killers ran out of the house, she said she heard them drive away. That means that the car had to drive down the driveway in the first place. So she must have seen the headlights. But if she saw the headlights, and then a man's voice claims that his car is broken down on the highway, why open the door? You see my problem? I see your problem. No, what if she got up from the chair at that moment? It could be many things. What, what if, uh, what if they drove down the, the driver with their lights off? Drove down with the lights off? Sure, if they're gonna rob a place, why leave their lights blazing? Yeah, but on the other hand, sir, if you intend to claim that your car broke down on the highway, why drive down the driveway at all? You see, there are too many inconsistencies, sir. I just have problems accepting her story. May I make a suggestion? Why don't you ask her to submit to a lie detector test? Lie detector test? Sure. Well, that's not admissible in court, sir. Well, it's not a question of being admissible in court. I'm talking about for you. 
If you actually believed that she was innocent, then you could turn your full energies to finding the real murderers. That's a very good idea, sir, but there's no way that I can force her to submit to such a test. Well, let me ask her. She trusts me, and if I advise it, I, I, I think she'll take it. And you think that she'll pass such a test? I'd stake my reputation on it. Just one more thing.